Welcome Fritz fam. We are at our third video for our aquatic art series. This has been really fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the shipment didn't go exactly how we planned, but what I really loved is what we learned from it. The opportunity for you to kind of tell us why it happened and then take a look at the coral that did come in. But I would be very disappointed if I didn't get to show off your facility. I wanted to give you the tour of the aquatic art facility because I really want you to see how great this place is. So we're going to take 10 minutes. We only got 10 minutes and he's got to go because he's going out of town tomorrow. So just walk through the place and kind of show off some of your best coral and yeah. talk to me a little bit about what you do here at Aquatic Art. Yeah. Since we're right here and we, we saw some of this yesterday, but this is our main LPS um, coral flat. Um, we have a lot of the coral colonies down here and then we have a lot of frags on the other side. Um, we're stocked up obviously we got a shipment in but we also um have been fragging uh, quite a bit and so we offer quite a few different kinds of frags most of these are going to be in the the low light low flow you know um and so we have the lighting accordingly um we put this in a few years ago and i'm so happy i put this system in because we can display a lot of corals at one time but this thing over here i want to talk about that i've always known this and there's probably seven different names but it's um we knew this as it's called a cherry tree monty yeah um and it's such a great the color contrast between the orange and the green and the pink rim yeah and it grows like mad Right. And so I'll go in and just take the bandsaw and cut a big chunk off, and you can see some of the frags over on the other side. Wow. Um, and it just keeps growing. By the time this heals and starts growing out, this side's ready. And wow. it's just constantly going circular. But Okay, pick your favorite coral in this flat, and that's what we're going to do with, with each spot that we stop here. So your favorite one. As weird as it sounds, and I change my mind all the time, but the, the branching side faster. Yeah. Yeah. I really like those. They're super hard to get. They grow super slow. Um, I've been able to acquire a few and grow them out. Yeah, this is a really cool coral. And yeah. I, I do. I love uh, Sacastria. And then when, when, you know, I started to see this pink branching one, uh, I think I saw it at the Reef Builders studio first, or one yeah. of Jake's videos. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this, this is an awesome coral. So to see four colonies here doing so good, um, that's awesome. It, and you think of Cyphastria, and like we were talking about before, it grows like mad. These don't. No. Um, or at least they don't for me. The I ones that know, we but... like the most don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, it's a kiss of like death. It? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I like you. You're done. So. <laughs> All right, now this is... Yeah. This, we've been here before, but we're back. You've so, changed everything in here. So actually, uh, um, I had a huge monopora, Jedi Mind Truck monopora in here. And so about uh, seven months ago, we gutted the whole thing. I right. redid the plumbing. I uh, took canopy off. We painted um, and put a new sump in and everything. And so we're about seven months in. Next time you're out, you'll see even more changes as we um, put more stuff into it. So, what's your favorite coral in here? You know, um, right now, um, actually, this one, the Ghani. Yep, that Ghani. Yeah. Um, that's the one that we uh, videotaped on Reef Builders, um, oh. and Jake and I cut that, and that's his candy floss. Oh. And so, not only does it is it a really cool coral, I really like it. But it has some sentimental um, reasons to it as well. So that's why it beat out the little Sonai. Yes, yes. Because I like this one the most. <laughs> is that, I, <laughs> the lights are kind of phasing down, so everything's closing up a little bit. But yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then the other one that I really like is this Acanthophilia that's yeah, over in the corner. It's the same coloration. Chris I mean, Meckley at ACI sent that to me. Um, and it has it actually has three mouths on it. Um, yeah. And so I, I that one's really... Um, one of my favorites as well. And Sean, do you see what's back there? Yeah, I know. Oh, what is that? that? That's <laughs> an elegance coral. Dog. Look at you. He's asserting his dominance over me in front of you. You know. <laughs> we have a bunch more frags over here. The lights are phasing down, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I mean, uh, showing the, the Fritz family, when you do come here, you have a $10 section, 20 a 30 and a $40 section. So we don't need to pick your favorite coral here. This is for people to start getting into the hobby and start putting stuff into their aquarium and to have some fun with some seedlings, right? Yes, absolutely. And, and it's low to medium light and low to medium flow. So all these right. corals are over here. So Beginner corals, right? Yes. So, um, Sorry, I want to turn the lights on. This one? Okay, yeah, go I'm for sorry, it. you're right. at it. Um, cut, cut time. I still need to take it. Don't take it away from my 10 minutes. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. You got to share that. Yeah. This is like, this is probably your, your choice piece. There's some of that. 
um, just fun, funky stuff that we put in here and, and try and do some different things. Um, turn the lights a little lower. I don't, I don't have any SPS, so I'm not trying to um, do crazy lighting on this tank. Um, these mushrooms. I know. Aren't those mushrooms cool? And these are insane. And those, and then to the left is the, the orange bower banky. Um, uh, yeah, that one. Yep. Um, which I, I've Rainbow always loved bow. that. Yeah. yeah. And, um, so I really like that one. But we, you know, we have this and we, you know, just kind of show a display of what people can do Some in a smaller system. Here. Yeah, you don't have to have a giant 500 gallon tank to do it. You can have a really nice reef system in, in a 65 gallon um, tank. Yeah, plus those back there. Yeah, those are Blast Musa Merletis, and in, in, they're called Blue Ravens. Uh -huh. um, so different kind of Blasto, mm -hmm. so that's why I can keep them. <laughs> yeah, I, the, <laughs> the Welsies are, don't really do well, and I'm, I think I have one that's um, struggling in there. I can't see it right now, but um, but yeah, it's a nice little Red Sea tank. and. Yeah, uh, it's up with some of my good uh, Lord who wins this, right? AQ? Micromusa now, but yes. Um, they're it was Micromusa Lord. Lord. Wins this, right? Well, I guess they were Acan Lords, yeah. but now they're Micromusa Lords. So you're right. right. Yeah, they just changed the first name on them. Yeah, I, there is so much cool stuff in here. And one of my favorites favorite? is the green Kenya tree in the back. I, know. I just love that thing. Um, it is. It's nuclear green. Nuclear you know? green, and sometimes we just work on all these expensive corals and everything and something as simple as a, a very bright colored Kenya tree very hardy coral love it you know so and so that's your final that's your favorite in there it, my favorite in here um and you can't pick that one as your favorite no but <laughs> I, it, I don't know it, you know it kind of goes between the jawbreakers and my bower banky I, I, I've been cultivating that for a long time but um, even, it's up there and I don't even know what this is so that is an anemone and I would butcher the name if I did, talked about it, but um, just uh, it looks like a magic carpet mushroom. I don't uh, see but, that. Uh, yeah, um, one of my friends brought that to me, and, and they've been propagating. And um, and then we have one that kind of jumped off the reservation. But <laughs> yeah. the funny thing is, normally if you had an enemy go into a bunch of acans um, or micromusas, um, you would expect carnage. They play nice, um, so they're fine. They play nice an enemy. Um, but we also have our SPS flat. Yeah. So all the SPS corals, we have a bunch of colonies. Some of these are growing out um, that are going to go into the main tank. We have some of the higher end ones. And then we have sections in the 40 30 and $20 section down at the end. Try and keep as many varieties as we can um, so we can have, you know, different things for people to see. So wait, f favorite coral in here? Um, the, the Rainbow Splice Millie. Yeah. Really cool coral. I think we talked about that a little bit yesterday is, is the changing of proteins and, yeah. and the infection. Obviously, you know, we have the red part, but um, you can also have this coral be bright green. Mm -hmm. And but as you see it now, it's a little bit more peachy. So I think that that protein and, you know, kind of bleaches into that part. So it, it's fun to watch and see what it's going to do. And if I can get those red branches to start growing again, then I might have some available to sell or give to other friends to have yeah. them grow out. But that's probably my, my, my favorite one out of this tank right now. So. Well, I would definitely consider myself a friend of yours. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as friend long as it's not an elegant squirrel. Um, so, and then here we have a bunch of um, euphilia. We have a bunch of torches. Um, and then um, we also have, we, in one of our service accounts, we've been growing this Drossa clam for a long time. And so we brought him in because he was just taking up too much room. Um, and then this has been um, one of my, my wife's favorite projects as of recent is that she's making these, um, these little uh, hammer gardens. And she just takes a piece of real reef rock and uh, attaches, glues these different colors on. And it would be kind of cool to think of when you you know, down the road, what is it going to look like? Favorite coral in here? You know, the favorite coral in here, I think, would probably be these red Ganiporas. All right. Um, friend of mine in Colorado Springs um, is the Ghani master. Is this Reef Koi? Oh. No, it, it's a, uh, um, so, yeah. uh, his name is Kirby, and he's a, I've known him for a long time. He grows these, um, frags them, and I buy them directly from him. All right. They've been tank hardened for 15 years. Um, great coral there. Um, as far as the Ganapora line, um, they're one of the hardier Ganaporas. Are these $100? No, they're actually the, um, they're originally from ORA 
And so these are all 79 per friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just take the bigger one there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just inflated more. Um, no, there's, these are awesome. That's a great price too. So yeah. Um, no. uh, what a, a, a very good deal for people coming. I, and, and to get a hardy tank hardened coral that's red and wavy, mm. it's pretty good. And so we sell quite a few of them actually. Right. There's a couple more over here, but where I, I do kind of have to wind this up, okay? Because I told myself that I could only do this for 10 minutes because Chris has to go out of town tomorrow, but I'm gonna let Jimmy take a good look around the store so you can check it out. But what I wanna finally say about this place is that it is amazing. There is so many coral in here and you've only seen a handful of them. So you definitely have to check out aquatic art. And then I do have one more thing to give you because I brought you some stuff Hey, presents. Um, I like uh, presents. You know, I gave you some in the last video, but I got you these elements. I know that you said that alkalinity is uh, the most important element, so I definitely brought you some alkalinity. But we just rebranded this. This is just nice, clean elements here. Um, it's, it's nothing else. It's not calcium and it's not alkalinity and I want you to have those. Awesome. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got for you. Um, I wish I could have brought you more, uh, but Mike, my boss, said I could only give you these. I was like, hey, I have a longer list. He said no. And so if you think that we should have given Chris Cap more gifts for everything that he did for us, definitely comment down below. Let Mike know that I should be giving more to people. Yeah, where is Mike? Yeah. I, I want more. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. I've really enjoyed this. Oh, yeah. Just a pleasure to hang out. Thank you for so, stopping by. Yeah. So. And uh, Fritz fam, if you want to see more content like this, definitely comment down below if you've got some stores that you really like and you'd like us to take a visit to i would love to go see your favorite stores this is one of mine so definitely go check it out until next time snail it